You may have had a jalapeno burger before, but I will bet that you have never had what I'm making today, which is a jala jala jalapeno burger. That's right, three halas we're doing today. There's gonna to be three different kinds of jalapeno with this burger. The burger itself is gonna be a fairly standard burger. We want that great flavor of some 80-20 ground beef. And as you can see, I have my big ring out here to form a burger because we're gonna make a sizable one. So let's just go ahead and get started on this burger. I'm gonna get our ground beef in here. We don't wanna pack it too tightly, but you know, Want to give it some shape, make sure it gets out to the edges. How much ground beef is this, you ask? Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> this is approximately three quarters of a pound of ground beef. So a burger for two or for one very hungry person. But we need a lot of meat surface area here to help distribute the three different kinds of challah we're going to put on this today. What kinds are those? We'll get to that. All right, so we have our burger roughly formed here, and I'm just going to remove the mold here. If you spray your mold with a little bit of like, say, canola oil spray or something like that, it'll slide off easily if it's sticky, but this one did pretty good. So you can see we have a sizable burger here. That's all right. Just wanna make sure we, our edges are good. Now we are going to season this and what we're going to be using today is It's Incredible from Heaven Made Products. I want to get a good layer of flavor on both sides of this that is going to help enhance all the hala that's going to go on here. So we're just going to give a nice dusting of It's Incredible on both sides of this burger. Now this burger is going to go into the refrigerator for about an hour just to sort of help it firm up before we take it out to the Weber kettle and grill it up and start adding all our variations of jalapeno to this amazing jala jala jalapeno burger. All right, it is burger time. I have my small cast iron skillet, which we're gonna heat up directly over coals. I've got the vortex on one side of the kettle, so I'm gonna slide that cast iron pan directly over those coals. We're gonna heat that up for just a minute and then we're gonna get our bacon in there. And this is jalapeno bacon for one of the halas in our jala jala jalapeno burger. Great thing about this setup is if the pan gets too hot, I can just slide it off the coals. Most of you know that I like my bacon cooked to AFS acceptable floppy state, not crispy. So that's what I'm shooting for today. I love that cast iron sizzle. I'm gonna go ahead and slide my pan off the direct heat here. Cast iron retains so much heat, it'll keep cooking here for quite a while. Oh, that's looking good. Good browning, good color, but not crispy. This bacon is just like I like it. It's coming off. All right, time to get our burger on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give our burger a turn. Give our burger another turn. Just doing a quick initial check for temperature here. Yeah, we got about 30 degrees to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this burger indirect and we're gonna let it finish to about 145, 150. That's how I like mine. to get the lid on and we'll check this in about four or five minutes. All right, our burger's been going indirect for about four minutes now. I wanna check it and then we're gonna put some cheese on. We are at about 130 degrees. I wanna give it about four more minutes before I put the cheese on. All right, we've been going another four minutes. Let's give it a check. All right, we're at 143. I wanna get my cheese on now and give it just a minute or two to melt. This is the second hala in our hala hala jalapeno burger. Some jalapeno pepper jack cheese. It's gonna put our lid on for about a minute or two. All right, we've been going for about a minute and a half. I 
I think our cheese is probably just where I want it. All right, let's get our burger off, head inside, get the last part of our challah ready for this challah, challah, jalapeno burger. So for part three of our hala hala jalapeno burger, we're gonna be starting with an avocado. Now this is a small avocado taken out of its skin, removed the seed, and to this, I'm gonna add something I haven't used before. It's a jalapeno spread from Dietz and Watson, almost like a relish. I'm gonna put maybe a tablespoon in here. I'm just gonna start mashing it in to make almost like a little jalapeno guacamole topping spread for this hala hala jalapeno burger. Definitely smell the jalapenos here. Now with this, I'm not just going for heat. I love the flavors of jalapeno. And I think if you get it in the right amounts, in the right delivery systems, you can get great flavor and really good heat without killing yourself with too much heat. So taking this jalapeno spread and cutting it with avocado, kind of lessens it so it's not too overpowering. That looks good. Let me take just a quick little taste here and see. That's nice. Little kick, not too much. That avocado really mellows it. All right, let's build our burger. So I'm starting with a lightly toasted sesame seed bun here. It's gonna get our burger patty on. So we have our nice jalapeno pepper jack cheese there. I just wanna start with some of this jalapeno avocado spread. Now some of that jalapeno bacon. I think I'll put two nice pieces on there. Then we're just gonna top it. And there we have it. The hala hala jalapeno burger. Looking at this here, nothing left to say, but it's time to taste. All right, here's our bad boy. I'm not even gonna cut it in half here. I'm just gonna like dive in with the whole thing. So it's gonna be messy. I know there's gonna be a lot of juice, but here we go. The hala hala jalapeno burger. Oh man, that is good. I gotta tell you, I've made a lot of burgers. I'm putting this in the top five or six. This is really good. And that's just after one bite. Great jalapeno flavor with just enough heat. You could dial it up like crazy if you wanted here by adding more of that jalapeno spread to the avocado. I gotta tell you, I'm really liking the level of heat in this and the flavor is top notch. After another bite there, I'm upping it. This is in the top two or three burgers I've ever made. This is just fantastic. With that big burger patty, that three quarter pound patty, I mean, come on, yes, it's over the top in that sense. It's huge, you could cut this in half easily and two people could feed off this. But that large patty holds the juice. We're not overcooking it. Even with that super hot fire in the vortex and the cast iron grate, retains all the juiciness. And that really does help with the heat from the jalapenos in here. That jalapeno bacon is killer. We love that stuff. All right, I'm upping it yet again. This is the best burger I've ever made. So I didn't set out to make the best burger I've ever made today, but I did. I gotta tell you, combining all those levels and layers of jalapeno flavor on this nice big 80-20 ground beef patty, it was the way to go, and it just made a killer burger. That is freaking great.